We recently visited a facility which has over 5,000 items from over 200 years of our nation's military history, as we discovered at the Vermilion County War Museum in Danville. The mini opening, uh, people came in and we said, okay, this is what we're gonna do. We need any kind of memorabilia you have from any wars, and it started coming in by the car loads. Building is uh, a Carnegie Library, which was donated to the city in 1903. There's three of them uh, in Vermillion County. As you come in the front door, and we will uh, have a greeter at the big uh, double desk, and they will direct you to the Revolutionary War. Most of it's original. The uniforms, uh, as most people look at them, they think they're original, but they're not. They're uh, reproduction, and uh, uh, some of the rifles and things are original. One young man who is a revolutionary reenactor, and he's also a surveyor. And if you come up here, you'll see the oldest surveying equipment up to the most modern surveying equipment. Immediately after that is the Civil War, and in between is World War I, memorabilia. We have a little bit of everything, history on all the wars. And then when we're finished with that, they can go over to World War II mon um, room, and we have literally tons of memorabilia from World War II, a lot of history. Uh, uniforms of all branches of the service and we have pictures and stories and history of local veterans. Earl Black, he was in the tank corps in Germany in World War II. They went into Dachau. Going in, uh, they, what people were still alive, they freed them. Then they took the SS officers and stripped them of their weapons and their bayonets and their daggers and so on and so forth. And Earl brought back you saw them, several of them over there, and pictures. They took pictures off, there was uh, Hitler, one of them was carrying a picture of Adolf. And then across the room, north part, is the Vietnam era veterans, and in the middle, we have Desert Storm, we have uh, Bosnia, and uh, as we come forward, on the right, on the north room, is the Medal of Honor, uh, Kenneth Bailey Room, who's a local Danville boy. He got killed on Water Canal. And uh, his wife received the Medal of Honor because he was put in for it before he was killed. And, uh, but he was killed immediately after that. And, and President Roosevelt presented her, Kenneth D. Bailey's Medal of Honor, which is on display in that room. They named the ship after him, Kent D. Bailey Destroyer. A diving suit that was uh, the top portion of it, the helmet portion. The gentleman lived here in Danville years ago. He was in during the Korean War. And he uh, was a diver. And uh, he was an officer. And he told me that he came up under a ship and he put a little dent in it. And uh, so he was able to salvage the uh, helmet. We call ourselves the County War Museum. We're not Danville, so we encompass the surrounding area. We have put out the best information we can possibly put out on all veterans, not just local veterans. We, we have memorabilia here from Pennsylvania, California, and whatnot. So uh, we're just tireless individuals that enjoy doing what we're doing. I enjoy this place, I love it. The Vermilion County War Museum also has a research center in the basement with a collection of books and periodicals. For directions or information about the Vermilion County War Museum, call 217-431-0034.